honestly, I think our generation would still be um, homophobic assholes if it wasn't for people like Harvey Milk um, leading the way in equality. It's because of people that push for it that people start to go, huh. And I feel like the reason that it's kind of a generational thing is because when you're younger and you haven't had those ideas ingrained into your mind for so long, you're more open to think about them in different ways. Like, I know you, it's, it's easier to change a young person's mind on a subject like this than it is to change like an 80 year old's mind. It's not impossible, but it is a lot more difficult because they're less willing to consider other alternatives. I'm Jimmy Stata, I'm bisexual. What I like to say, I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. The reason I joined was because I was starting to realize that I liked guys. I was, I was a little scared, you could say, and I thought if I went to the GSA, it might help me figure out what exactly it was I, fe what I was feeling. Figure out if I did actually like guys or if I was wrong. Uh, it didn't actually help me figure out if I was right or wrong, if I was interpreting the feelings right or not. What it did help me out, it helped me uh, kind of come to terms and accept that I was bisexual. It didn't help me figure out if I was or not, it just helped me accept it. Uh, initially, the GSA, it opened my eyes to this world of people who had a lot of struggles and had a lot of strife, and it made me really feel for them. It made me sad that I was once a person that did affect these people in a negative way, and I wanted to change that, and I wanted to help these people have a good life and help them out. So I eventually started adopting things. I started to speak out against homophobia. I started to become an activist and uh, support those who had any problems with homophobia. My name is Jason Stewart and I am the teacher advisor for the Spartan Gay Straight Alliance. My ultimate goal in working with the Gay Straight Alliance and with these students, as well as by extension the staff, families and community is to provide uh, to provide an opportunity uh, for us to one day not have to have a gay straight alliance uh, that it'd be such a part of an integral part of our, our, our community and our culture that you don't even need it you don't even think about it it's just who we are and who we are as a community it affected my life personally by being in the GSA because it helped me be more open about myself even when I first came out, I was still very shy and not very open because of the public ridicule I was getting. But now that I've been more exposed to the GSA and lifestyles like that, it's helped me be more accepting and not really caring about the ridicule. They're a support group. They honestly are my biggest support group in the world. Like. If I hadn't come here, I don't think I'd be, I, I'd have figured out exactly what was going on in my head and what all of this <laughs> means and what it will mean to me and my family. When I come here, it's just like some people just like ask, you know, why are you going here? Are you not straight? And people think that you're not straight because you would take part in certain things like this, which doesn't really make sense in a way. I just brush it off and you know it's as it's easier said than done but if you could just brush it off and know that know who you are it, it, the way people look at you it shouldn't affect how you look at yourself either for somebody that's struggling themselves you know it will take it takes time to figure out who you are it it's, it's always going to be a difficult and changing thing of who you are you know I'm constantly finding things out about myself that I didn't think I knew that I thought I knew that weren't. And if you're somebody that knows someone who's struggling, you know, be as supportive as you can. Accept everything that they're going to do as them. If they're going, if they come out to you, you know, be supportive, be loving, be caring. And you know, if they're just trying to find themselves, you know, maybe help them. Just, you know, just be their friend. a walking, talking penis. And <laughs> Other times, I am a heel-wearing, dress-twirling demon with tits, as I described it to my one friend. <laughs> Closet stuff. So, you came I'm the beauty, and they're all the beasts, pretty much. Hey. <laughs> she she thinks here. I'm beautiful. Yeah, We're so all beautiful works. here. Thank you. <laughs>
And that's how I wrestled 32 camels. <laughs>